credible, yeah. I'm going to leave it alone, but when you have credible apostleship, you'll see things like Jesus said in John, and these signs shall follow. Yeah. But if your apostleship ain't credible, there ain't no signs following behind you. I'm going to leave it alone. Christian discipleship, common fellowship, credible apostleship, and we must have, fourthly, collective citizenship. Shit. Collective. This is verse 44. And all that believed were together and had all things common. Verse 44. All people, they were all together and they had all things in common. And now you know this was really interesting. Uh, again, you would have to know a little history. I'll give you a tad bit. Uh, the Jewish people, they had things together and they believed in community, but they worked on a caste system. Uh, I'm going to bring it home in your context in a minute. Uh, they, they worked in, you know, Sadducees and Pharisees, the Sanhedrin Council, the high priests, the Levites, those that were delegated authority. They had different classes of people. Uh, you got, you know, you know, you got the praise leader, you got the musical director, you got the head of the, 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 the audio visual ministry, the chief usher, you got the chief deacon. But you know what? Uh, uh, that, that's our context. You got the chief. Everybody wants to be separated by who it is that they say that they are. And all things, you know, uh, 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 the greatest man to ever, the wisest man to ever walk on earth, he said there's nothing new under the sun. So just as we're dealing with it now, they dealt with it then. This, this, this segregation in the house of God, these cliques, this separatism in the house of God, the Lord is calling for us to remove it. Not only should the intercessors be able to pray with some of the lay members, they should be able to come down here and pray like everybody else. In the choir, we can't just take the folks that sing. We take the folks that can make a draw for noise too, but they take it. The usher can't just take their favorite friends. They got to take the folks that don't know how to hold their right hand behind their back and hold their left hand up. They don't know how to put the world, the white right glove on right. They got to take them too. Because we're creating a community. Creating a community. As a matter of fact, we get on our high horses and our lofty selves. Uh, I'm not going to say everything I want to say. Uh, but you know, we get so higher than thou that we forget that all have sinned. And all have come short of the land. I, I, I said, no, no, I didn't exclude you. I said, all. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Well, what we need is kinship. We need that collective That's citizenship. It. Kinship. I like yeah. that word because I'm country. Grandma said, kin. When somebody is your kin, they'll think you'll do things for that person yeah. that you wouldn't do for any, anybody else. You know, mama, when that's your son, you'll go sign uh, on that loan and you know he ain't going to pay it because he will kin. Because there's a closeness, there's a tie. Uh huh. Uh, you know your, you know your brother ain't talked to you in 14 years. He heard you hit the lottery, so he gonna call you. But you know what you gonna do? You gonna give him a little piece because that's your hand. You know what the Lord is calling for? He's calling for that same thing in the body of Christ. Yeah. Collective citizenship. And verse 45 teaches us that when we have collective citizenship, it'll lead to donorship. Uh, verse 45 